Good evening, I'm Paula Todi. I'm Rob Braun. Good Friday comes with extra prayers at a Hamilton church. St. Julie Billiard finds itself at the center of the national immigration fight. A parishioner has been ordered deported. Local 12's Larry Davis looks at how members are staying faithful. The Good Friday service at St. Julie Billiard Church in Hamilton, home parish to Maribel Trujillo and her family. Father Mike Pucky says it's a time to hold on to memories, and he mentioned Maribel and her family. They will remember a lot. They're going to remember that Maribel was still and is still the same woman, person filled with strong faith, and hope. Having been detained by ICE and now facing deportation next week, Montebel Trujillo has been on the minds of her fellow parishioners. And all week I keep thinking as I read the prayers of the church and the, the readings, you know, this is her passion, this is her suffering, but there's no resurrection without the passion and the suffering and the death. So. I'm hopeful. Some church members have made calls to Ohio's governor, senators, and even ICE in hopes of keeping Montebel with her family. I don't usually make phone calls to public officials. I'll send emails, but I felt like this was something that I really, I didn't want to be one of those people that didn't have a voice to this. As prayers go out to Montebel Trujillo and her family, many are still asking why. I just think it's cruel and unjust punishment because she just wants to raise her family and she never committed any crimes. And as parishioners head out this Easter weekend to enjoy the holiday with their families, their minds will be on one of their own who will not be spending time with her family. In Hamilton, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Maribel Trujillo Diaz was detained by ICE last week near her Fairfield home. She is now held in Louisiana. If sent back to Mexico on schedule next week, she will leave behind her husband and four children.